Are you looking to transform a corner of your home into a personal retreat? You are in the right place. Today we're going to explore how creating a cozy nook can not only enhance the charm of your home, but also offer you a serene spot for relaxation and rejuvenation. And by the end of this video, you will learn both how and where to create a cozy nook into your own home. Why create a cozy nook? Before I explain the five most important features of a cozy nook, I'd like to explain why it is so important to have one in your home. A cozy nook creates a personal space where you can relax and disconnect from the busyness of daily life. It's a place to unwind, read a book, or enjoy a morning coffee. It's a place for quiet contemplation, reading, or engaging in stress-relieving activities like meditation. A cozy nook can also be a breeding ground for creativity. It's a place to think, dream, and get inspired without distractions. In essence, a cozy nook isn't just about adding another element to your home design. It's about creating a space that supports your emotional and mental well-being, fostering relaxation and creativity. Design versatility. Now, the beauty of cozy nooks is how widely available they are to everyone due to their small size and versatility. Here are a couple of examples. The Reading Alcove. The Reading Alcove can be a snug armchair with a side table in a quiet corner of your living room or bedroom with soft pillows, throws, and blankets. Or it can be a couch or a love seat by a window close to a library of books. Add a few candles and some fairy lights and your cozy nook is complete. The Window Seat. A cushioned window seat with a view adorned with comfy cushions offers a serene spot for one-on-one -on -one conversations or personal reflections. The breakfast nook. A small cushioned bench in a kitchen corner or a breakfast nook provides a cozy space for casual chats over coffee. A balcony or patio retreat is an outdoor love seat or cushioned bench in a secluded part of the patio or balcony and can serve as a peaceful outdoor conversation or contemplation spot. The fireplace seating. A cozy armchair and some big soft pillows placed on a plush rug in front of the fireplace makes for a warm and inviting area to relax and talk. The attic or the loft nook. If you have an attic or a loft, placing a cushioned love seat or a couch can create a secret nook that feels like it's a world away from the rest of the house. And finally, my favorite, the small cabin nook. A couch in a small cabin surrounded by books and vintage decor, soft yellow lighting, plants, and a beautiful view of a mountain landscape could be the perfect decompression spot away from the world. Which of these are you most likely to replicate at home? Make a mental note because in the following part we will discuss the most essential features and what you need to remember when putting together your own cozy nook. Comfortable seating. One of the most important features around which all other features get organized is the comfortable seating. This can be a small sofa, a love seat or an armchair. Even if you don't start with a soft seating but a hard one like a bench, you can make it more comfortable by adding throws and cushions. Look for seating with a comfortable backrest or armrest that will keep your body in a comfortable position for a long period of time. Mix cushions of different sizes to help you sit comfortably in different positions and choose pillow covers that are soft to the touch. Cotton, linen and velvet are great choices. Patterns or colors can add visual interest and complement the nook's decor. For throws, you can use materials like wool, fleece or cotton to provide warmth and comfort. For a luxurious touch, consider materials like cashmere or faux fur. The throw should be large enough to cover the legs and the lap when seated. If the size of the nook allows it, layering different textures and materials can increase the coziness factor. If on occasion you want to share the cozy nook with a friend or two and there's not enough space next to you, you can expand it to the floor with a plush rug and more pillows for a Turkish kind of seating. You can also layer multiple carpets to continue the plush luxurious look. Lighting. Because lighting can influence our mood so much, picking the right kind of lighting for our nook is important. And the first thing you need to consider in regards to lighting is which time of the day you are most likely to use the nook and for what purpose. 
If you wish to read a book during the day, then natural light will be absolutely fine. But if you're most likely to use it in the evening, then there is a wider variety of light choices that help you create a cozy atmosphere. The main light source should be soft diffuse lighting to create a warm glow. You can use, for example, a floor lamp with a fabric shade to spray light evenly. Additionally, consider combining different types of lighting to add depth and texture to the space. If your look is for reading and writing, a table lamp or a swing arm lamp provides a focused light without straining the eyes. For an extra bit of magic, add some accent lighting like small LED lights, string lights or even candles to highlight specific areas or objects in the nook. And if you happen to have one, a fireplace will provide the most cozy light of all, which creates a warm yellow glow appropriate for a cozy atmosphere. Decor and personal touches Decor elements may seem futile for minimalists, but they personalize the space and make it feel more like yours. This degree of personalization helps you feel more comfortable and relax quicker. Here are a few additional elements you can add to your cozy nook to make it extra special and unique. You can add functional elements like a side table or a coffee table to hold a cup of tea or your books. Adding a few baskets, decorative boxes, or even a small chest can provide additional storage without compromising the style. Wall decor like artwork or shelves for your favorite books and magazines can make the space more personal and inviting. Indoor plants like ferns and succulents or small potted trees add life and color to your nook. They also improve air quality. Items like hand-painted vases, a knitted throw, or pottery add a unique artisanal quality to your space. Sensory elements Finally, adding some sensory elements will stimulate all your senses and make your cozy nook a true oasis of well-being. You can add scented candles or diffusers, scents like lavender or vanilla can create a relaxing ambiance. Oils like bergamot, jasmine or cedarwood are also excellent choices, especially around the holidays. Soft ambient music can set a relaxing tone, instrumental tracks or nature sounds are ideal for creating a peaceful environment. Personally, I like creating a playlist of chill and lo-fi music. They keep a constant beat in the background without overstimulating me and that helps me relax or stay focused. You can also add a hot beverage by your side table. For example, I keep my crooked teapot nearby and pour myself a cup of herbal tea but you can also opt for coffee or hot chocolate or other beverages that make you happy. Hot chocolate, especially in colder months, adds a cozy, comforting touch. No details should be left to chance. Accessories like a tea infuser, a special teaspoon or a stylish tray can enhance the experience and make your time in the nook extra special. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to learn more on the topic of coziness, you should absolutely check my video a Hygge Hall.